it's the day after all. It's evening. I'm on the Cameron Bridge, which is on this, which is well, yes, guys, this is the Cameron Bridge. I'm on the Cameron Bridge, which is also referred to as the Swing Bridge, and it's situated in the capital city of Bridgetown in Barbados. This bridge uses to swing years ago, but it was refurbished sometime around 2005, 2006. And it, 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 and it was also closed to vehicle traffic, vehicular traffic sometime in the 1990s. This is Chamberlain Bridge. This is in the capital city of Bridgetown in Barbados. This bridge only lifts now when large ships or other vessels enter the Korean Age. And yes, guys, this is the Independence Arch. Which was placed here over the Chamberlain Bridge sometime in 1987. And from here, you can also see the National Pledge on the plaque right here. And this is the former the Costa Manis building, which is at Pierhead. This street here is now called Pier Head and this was the Costa Manage years ago and is now the Massey stores. The Costa Manage was an appliance store that served the country of Barbados for many years and it has now been sold to Massey stores, to the Massey, to, to the Massey group of companies. Yes, the Costa Manage was once owned by BS&T which stands for Barbados Shipping and Trading and they sold it to Massey, who is a Trinidadian. This is the Chamberlain Bridge in the capital city of Bridgetown in Barbados. Yes, please. I am now in Independence Square. Where you will find the National Library Service building here. This is the building with the green things on it. This is Independence Square. This is the National Library Service building here. Which was once modern living, which is another in the product store. And this is the fountain here at Independence Square. That's the Independence Square was redeveloped by the Barbados Tourism Investment Inc. and officially opened on January 21st, 2007, by Honorable Dame Billy Miller, a member of Parliament for the city of Bridgetown, as Senior Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade. Yes, so this is the fountain at Independence Square. And this is the Barbados' coat of arms here. Here's another look at the Chamberlain Lift Bridge. The bridge now lifts instead of swing, instead of swinging. Another look at the fountain. So the bridge lifts only when large vessels come in via the Corinage and the guys from the Barbados Port Authority will close the bridge to pedestrians so that the bridge can lift and let the vessels across to the other side of the Corinage and then it will close back. Let's get another look at the Parliament building from here.
this place, Independent Square. So from here, you can see the Broken Trident, which is on the floor here, which forms the national flag of Barbados, which is blue, yellow, and black. And we can look at, we are now looking across the Bridge Street where you will find the Bridgetown Mall, which was formerly Julian Superstores. I forgot to mention in my previous videos that it was once a super center supermarket many years ago, and then Julian bought it over. It was Julian Superstores, and then it was changed to Troy Mart. Oh no, it's a mall that holds several shops. And this is the Barbados Revenue Authority, which was once the Inland Revenue, or it can be referred to as the Treasury Building. And behind it, in the background, we can see the Central Bank Towers, or it could be otherwise known as the Tom Adams Financial Center, because it was built by the former Prime Minister Tom Adams back in 1972. And you can see the Parliament Building, here, which is the oldest Parliament in the Western Hemisphere. And we can see, again, the Chamberlain Left Bridge. This is all of Independence Square. From here, you can see Speedbird House, which holds this butt store. And we're looking across the National Library Service Building again, which was once Modern Living. Another plant store. That's going to the National, the original National Library Service Building is situated to the western end of Bridgetown, in a place called Coleridge Street. That's another building of historical architecture interest but the building is closed now and the library relocated to this building okay, this is the statue of Sir Errol Walton Barrow who is a national hero of Barbados and who is also the father of independence of Bar to Barbados and he is also he was also the Prime Minister of Barbados he was born on January 21st 1920 and died on the 1st of June 1987 He was the Premier of Barbados from 1961 to 66 and then Prime Minister from 1966 to 76 and he was succeeded by Tom Adams in 1976 and won the election again in 1986 and he died in office in 1987. Yes guys. Independent Square, which is in the capital city of Bridgetown and Barbados. And from here you can also see the Fairchild Street bus terminal. Yes, there is Speedbird House, which holds Dade's, Dade's bus store, Going Places Travel, which is a travel agency, and Framing Place, which is a lifestyle art and design plate building yes guys We're looking back towards independent i mean the chamberlain bridge and all across the bridge street and feature street bus terminal so today is the day that they moved the statue of Laura Horatio nelson from national hero square in bridgetown and it will be relocated to Block 1A at the Garrison Historic Area and UNESCO World Heritage Site. It will be located at the museum, at the Barbados, at the Barbados Museum, which is by the Garrison Historic Area and UNESCO World Heritage Site. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed night. Yes, this bridge also is called the Charles Duncan Only Bridge, which is between Fairchild Street and the Carinage. Okay, this is another bridge called the Charles Duncan Only Bridge, which is another national hero of Barbados.
and this is the Chamberlain Bridge here as well. Thanks again for watching and have a blessed night.